Now, though, taking you back to one of our main stories this morning, policing the trade in images of child sexual abuse has always been a major challenge. And recently, the Prime Minister told Internet search companies they had to take action to stop people finding them or they would face legislation. Well, Google and Microsoft have now agreed to measures to block access to the images, but how effective will they be? Joining us now from Belfast is the former head of the Child Exploitation and Online Protection Centre, Jim Gamble. Morning to you. Thanks very much for joining us. Um, we were told this was not possible. But suddenly it is. Well, I mean, I don't know who told you it wasn't possible because Google and Bing, for example, have been blocking images for an awful long time. They were blocking them when I was in CEOP, when we began in 2006 and certainly right up until 2011 when I, when I left the police service. So what I see here is that they've enhanced what they already do. And the most exciting thing, I think, to be fair, is that they're going to be able to tag video content. But before people become complacent, I don't think this will make any difference with regards to protecting children from paedophiles. They don't go onto Google to look for images. They share them in the dark corners of the internet on peer-to-peer -peer websites. So I, I think we need to, to, to step back. Uh, the Prime Minister's involvement has been great. Uh, I think the focus has been in the wrong place and he now needs to, to continue this journey, but to focus on the people that hurt our children and invest in child protection. OK, so what needs to be done to do that then? Well, what I've suggested um, today is that if they invested £1.5 million, which I think we can find even in recession, you could put 12 um, child protection experts and 12 coordinators into each of the police regions, uh, including Scotland, and they would be responsible for recruiting uh, up to 10 volunteers from retired police officers, IT specialists, teachers or others vetting them, training them and supporting them and allowing them to go online as special constables, as volunteers uh, to infiltrate these groups, to target these paedophiles and to help identify and locate the children trapped in images. That would make a far bigger difference. 520 new sets of eyes and ears on the internet hunting down these predators who after all don't use Google to search for their images or indeed to share them. Okay, so let's uh, let's talk about because so what they're doing is they um, these hundred thousand unique searches. That's what they're targeting. So you think it will make what no difference at all if these search terms are, they aren't able to search under these terms? No, I'm not saying it'll make no difference. What I'm saying is that it's an enhancement to that which they already did, and at the end of the day, it will prevent inadvertent access to inappropriate or illegal content which is on the open web. Mm. The fact of the matter is that the child abuse images that we're talking about, the children who are being abused today, photographed today, whose images are being uploaded this afternoon and shared by paedophiles tonight, they're not accessible via Google, and to suggest so is simply not being honest. So. This makes the environment, you know, better. It makes it much more difficult to stumble across anything and um, because obviously there will be leakage and bits and pieces will be out there. But if you were to get an honest assessment of how many of these images were online, that when they did check who was searching for some of these really extreme search terms, I will guarantee that that's a very small number globally. The fact of the matter is we've heard from the CEO of, of CEOP 50,000 people downloading images. We need to invest in resources that find them, arrest them and place them before the courts. That's real deterrence. And we have seen in the courts, though, people using simple terms and, you know, not using this, what you refer to as the sort of darker side of the net, haven't we? Well, if you're talking about people who have accessed adult pornographic sites as opposed to those who have accessed child abuse images, I'm not saying it never happens. But in the time that, that, that I've been involved in this work, and certainly uh, the time people that, that I know and respect who've been involved in victim identification, uh, they will all tell you that you don't find these images uh, in the way that paedophiles use them on Google. In fact, I noticed a tweet earlier on from a police officer who's, who's examined over a thousand computers and yet to find uh, images that have been harvested from Google. So <laughs> ultimately, these people, Microsoft and Google, they're real people, they're family people. I've known them for a long time. And whilst I've been a critic of theirs at times in the past, they do block these images and always have. What would be much better would be if those people searching for the known blocked images had their IP addresses reported to police, because that, in fact, would result in arrest, visible deterrent, because they'd be in court. And what stops that then? Well, I don't know what stops that because we've, the, the whole conversation has been diverted to a point whereby we've looked for quick fixes. 
what Microsoft and Google have done is fantastic, but don't think for one second that photo DNA developed by Microsoft and, and, and being, you know, paraded out today that that's new. They were, they were developing that when I was still in CEOP. So this bundle that we have got, very little of it is actually new and most of it is enhancing the work that the internet service providers already did. My issue with this is that David Cameron's involvement is massively powerful and that needs to be used wisely. I think he's been misinformed and at times misdirected. And when he holds the moral mirror up to other people, perhaps the government need to look at it themselves and ask, are they investing enough resources in organizations like CEOP, in local child protection? And the answer to that is simply no. Jim Bab Gamble, very interesting to hear your point of view, former chief executive of the Child Exploitation Online Protection Centre. Thank you.